So you just saw a quick video that shows how in principle you can apply the householder transformations in reverse in order to compute matrix Q. Um, let's back up a little bit to the picture that we created when we explained how the QR factorization can be turned into an algorithm with some more of the details. Now, what really is going on now is at a typical point we have updated our identity matrix so that it looks like this. Okay, where there are zeros now already below this. And now what happens is that in the next step we need to apply the householder transformation that previously was used to compute the QR factorization to this matrix. And that's exactly this householder transformation right here, the U2 of which overwrote these zeros. So what you notice is that, again, the exact same kind of update needs to happen to this matrix that actually happened when you did the QR factorization in the first place. That then overrides all of these entries. Let's see, all of these were zeros. That overrides all of these entries with non-zeros, also updating these non-zeros, and then you move backwards to the next iteration. Okay? And now you can work out the details for yourself.